A garden in the spring is a wonderful thing, and I cannot wait to showcase this beautiful garden situated on terraces in Nashville. Savannah Yarborough, you are a very fortunate lady. I am. You are. And what did you like first, the house or the garden? Well, it was the pictures of the garden that lured me into the house. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I bought this house in 2020 as a place for me to live by myself, and I bought it from a woman who had created this garden since 1955 when she moved oh, into the house. Fabulous. Yeah. And I can tell that she was from England? She was. She was, and she loved flowers. And she, she really created in this garden a lot of structure that is so necessary, the bones of yes. this garden and, and her rock terraces and, and her strategically placed plants for anchor plants. So now let's go to flowers. Yes, there's uh, plenty to choose from. There are lots yeah. in here and you know, an overview, I would think that, wow, you need to pull your weeds, but that's not a weed, is <laughs> it's it? It's not a weed, no, it's a blue-eyed Mary that goes everywhere, like a sea of blue and white in the springtime. I have to say, I was fortunate enough to see a photograph of these when they were in bloom. Yes. All over. So, but now you don't call that an invasive, you just call that a pretty like spread. A present. <laughs> it, it is. So one of my favorites that you can see sort of everywhere are the columbines. Yes. That was something I had never had before, and they, I think I have five different wow. types of them, and there's still a few left. See that? Each different color, um, and they just grow so tall, and they spread out everywhere, and I absolutely love them. All of these were here, and you rescued them? Well, they were here, they were just under a lot of other things. And yeah. so I have spent the last three years creating some breathing room and clearing out and trimming things back so that these each have a place and an opportunity to shine. Well, with you saying that, then you come with a history of gardening for you to be able to walk into a space and know what's really there. It took time. It took yeah. time, but I do, my mom is an avid gardener, so I have learned a lot from her over yes. the years. Yeah. Um, but she said when I got this place that I had my work cut out for me, and she was right. <laughs> okay, and well, Savannah, along with your perennials in here, spring, I see that you also have a very wonderful specimen right here. Yes. I like that nine bark. Yes, it's so beautiful. It, and you know that leaf color. Where we've worked for the last season to really trim it back to yes to get it in its most most healthy form yeah and it looks like it's an arching thing and yes. it, it likes to be that way i know you're particularly fond of clematis aren't you i am uh, you have a beautiful one do you happen to know the name of that one this one i don't actually know the name of that one um, and we're waiting on the bloom for the one next to it to find out what that's going to be when we see it and you've never seen it bloom never this well, will be the first time that's great you've got another christmas present <laughs> <laughs> okay um in the um, the scope of what you are doing here Tell me a little bit about gardening on a hill. Well, it is not the easiest, that's for sure. It does take a little bit of extra effort and um, help from friends to be able to do it, but I've got a little cart that I bring out. You know, I'm just used to going up and down the hill. Right, this is the second level. We're gonna go to the third level. Great, let's go. Well, Savannah, tell me about the recovery. The, I believe you said this is a smoke bush right there? Yes, it is. So it's quite an old specimen that we have, again, spent quite a bit of time trimming back. And as you know, with a smoke bush, you have to do that over periods of time. Right. And I have yet to see it bloom, but I do think this is going to be the first time it I get is. to enjoy it. You know, it is literally like a puff of smoke. Yes, yes. It's quite unusual. Uh, the deer ate mine. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, you also mentioned that you like the Japanese painted fur. I do. I love those, and I just love how they complement, too, with the Solomon seal, which is quite widespread in this section. Yes. Um, it is quite shady over here most of the summer, which is great, and I just, I love the color palette that it all gets. It's very relaxing and calm. So you do, you actually have d deep shade, you have sunlight. Yes. And then, and you have semi-shade, dapple yes. shade. Well, that's, that's a good garden. Very well balanced. I now see. then, let's move to the, where you have more of the summer perennials, perhaps? Yes, up okay. top. Well, Savannah, you've got random, rampant hellebore everywhere. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what do you do with that? I do. Well, the first season that I had the garden, we spent a lot of time clearing that up. 
because Are they it, difficult just to dig? So difficult. They'll tear, tear your hands off before you can tear them out of the ground. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's well, hard. Uh, I have some loose friends too. <laughs> but you can always see their little babies everywhere. Oh, I so know. So you gotta get ahead of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the first course of that song. <laughs> you do, yes. yes, yes. But I do love them. I mean, I never get tired of, of the way they look and how they fill things in. It is yeah. really nice. And they're evergreen. Yes, true, very true. You know, Savannah, from this vantage point, the designer originally of this garden, I can see her eye moved randomly and you can tell that here is a dogwood, here is a, um, another uh, plant, witch, witch hazel. hazel. Yes. yes, and so there, she has height, mm -hmm. but yet she left room for all the different specimens and, and I'm not really sure if, if that would come in the cottage garden, but I know that uh, Structurally, she provided ample in between all of that. Yes. Uh, so as we go down through here, I know that you've got lots of things in here, but uh, I see you have a peony this morning. I do. I've got three big ones up here. Um, they are the only peonies. We've got some in the front of the house, but these are the only three in the back, and I do love them every season. That's a herbaceous peony, and those those heads are so large and so fragrant. Through this walkway, I can tell that you have some daylilies mm -hmm. and some more of that wonderful blue-eyed Mary. Yes. The stacked stone wall that is holding up all of this hillside, it was, it was done excellently because through all of this wear and tear in the water, it is still standing, but of course they did mortar it in. Yes, they and, did. And that, that is crucial for Yes, and it was built um, in 1940. So the oh. fact that it has withstood all those years and all the rain um, is pretty wonderful, I think. It is. It, over the years of time, water will take its toll. It will. And, but this was done very well. And then I know you have spiderwort through here. I do. It has been a thorn in my side sometimes. Oh, but. And you know, I found that to be true. But it does present color. It does, and height sometimes, that's really nice. Exactly, exactly, and it blends in well. And I know you have asters in here, you have flock in here, and There's I know- There's an allium there. Yes, I see that little, allium too. Yeah. But standing up here on the top of the world with you, your garden is, is really, really great. And I know that it would be a thing of enjoyment to look out my window every morning yes. with my first cup of coffee to see what, what's out there. You, you truly are blessed. I am, I am, I love that. Every morning there's always a new surprise. And you have cardinals. I have all kinds of birds. I've it's, got lots of cardinals, some blue jays. Well, it's a wonderful garden and it has had many years of someone to love it. Yes. And create it. And now it's in now your hands. Now it's hand. my turn. And now it's in your hands. And now yes. it's starting to rain Here on us again. <laughs> Thank you. Time. Thank you so much. If you like gardening, you'll want to subscribe to this channel. We showcase gardeners, plants, and the joy that growing can bring.